Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. Um, first of all, I want to thank you so much for joining in tonight. I got a great group on here tonight. Um, I've got uh, some guys I've had on before, and I've got a, a newcomer on here tonight, too. And I am really, really looking forward to talking to these guys. Uh, they're with the Filipino Paintball, or Filipino Worldwide Paintball Organization, and the Filipino Paintball Team. Now, I don't know if you guys have been following, but you're going to, from now on, you're going to want to follow these guys because these guys are hot. They are uh, uh, just a terrific bunch of people. That's why I put them on all the time. I just think that uh, what they do for paintball is absolutely great. And um, I absolutely love it. And I'm very happy to have them on tonight. Now, let me see if I can do it without butchering the names. Okay, because I'm I'm sure I'm going to butcher probably Wills. You know, I don't know. I just, uh, it just happens. So I take heat for it. So it's fine. I can I can live with it. I'm I'm thick skinned, but tonight I am going to have Edgar Matias. I think I got yours right, Edgar. I'm going to have Jeff Munoz. I cheated a little bit. I probably still pronounced it wrong, but I asked him in the green room ahead of time. So I'm hoping I I was close anyhow. And I'm going to have Will. Here we go, Will. I'm going to give it my best. My best is coming right now. Artisan. Yeah, I I blew it. Yep, artisan. How about we just go with Will, the nice guy? Okay, we'll ask Will when we pull him up here. And also, uh, along with my uh, co-host, Mr. William Bailey, we're having Mr. Bud Orr on tonight, too. Um, you know who Bud is. You know, I don't even have to tell you who he is. He's a terrific guy, and uh, this is going to be a great group. We're going to be talking um, all about the teams and the Filipina paintball, uh, which I think is terrific. And I want to say hi real quick. Mr. Kenny Stewart chimed in already. Uh, Joshua Estrada every week um there's a name guys you know i i am not going to take too much time but i got to talk a little bit about josh josh watches all the podcasts and he spreads it he spreads the word like you can't believe he's like the paul revere of paintball so if you ever get a chance and you see joshua strata online just say thanks buddy thanks for what you do for paintball because it is a quite a bit so let me mention these things real quick and then I, I've got a, a, a question, too, um, that uh, I'm going to have to ask Jeff when he comes up here tonight, too, because I got this strange request from a very good friend of mine, Mr. Josh Silverman, to ask Jeff about the ketchup incident. So um, I don't know what the ketchup incident is, but for Josh to ask me to ask Jeff about it, it's got to be something that's uh, pretty good. So now... I'm on pins and needles wanting to know what the heck it's about. So it's going to be cool. And and we're, we're going to put him on the spot here in a little bit. But first of all, uh, I want to start out. Um, WCPL in St. Louis is coming up in October. And uh, it's going to be the last uh, tournament of the WCPL series this year. And there's still two spots left. Um, it is going to be terrific. I mean, there's going to be all the notables are going to be there. I mean, Bud Orr's coming in, Ross Alexander from Line SI, uh, Jim Lively's supposed to be coming in. Uh, I mean, everybody is coming in there. Um, John Gregory from JT. Uh, so if you get a chance, you're going to want to jump in. And uh, if you can't play the tournament, show up at it. It's at Gateway Paintball in St. Louis in October. And uh, I got to tell you, the fields are tremendously excellent. They really are. Hey, Bon Chick, how you doing this evening? And Devin Schwartz. So I got to tell you, if you get a chance, there's two slots left. This, this thing is filling up extremely quick. So if you have a team, you're close to St. Louis, or even if you're not, you're going to want to jump in and put a team in there because the fields are excellent. The judging is going to be excellent. And this, I mean, Tim Schloss has gone overboard with what he's done there he has got it set up so each team has their own 10 by 20 foot area i mean just everything about it is just excellent you don't have to run a mile for your paint everything is going to be right there it's terrific so if you get a chance you're going to want to jump in and uh check out that uh gateway paintball it's on the wcpl uh website so jump on and check it out you're going to love it so real quick and then i have to say uh Next week, I'm going to have a couple of guys on that are they're having a tournament, a big game. The North, it's going to be North Carolina versus Virginia. And this is going to be July 16th and 17th. So it's only a couple of weeks out. It's going to be at Splat Brothers in Hopewell, Virginia. 
And these guys uh, have been talking to me, and it looks like a great time. State against state. So I guess if you're from North Carolina, you're going to want to go to West Virginia and take these guys on, or to Virginia and take these guys on. So um, that is going to be the 16th, 17th at Splat Brothers in Hopewell, Virginia. If you get a chance, check it out. And then I have to mention, every week until this happens, the Montressor Classic. Uh, Frank and Jennifer have taken the, the realm from their son, Tim, who did it for years, and they are doing a terrific job. And this year it's going to be July 29th through the 31st, and it's going to be at Paintball Sport Field, where the WCPL was just held, um, and that's in Newburgh, New York. And I got to tell you, it's a great field. It's going to be a great time. And like I always say, you got to you gotta support paintball. So even if you don't go play, get out there and support the teams. Show everybody that, that you support paintball in a big way. Because the more people they see go out and do this, guys, the more people are going to want to go do it. So, you know, everybody talks about, yeah, yeah, I'm working for paintball. I'm doing this. Well, let's get out and show everybody that you're doing it. Okay? Let's do that. And then one more, the Cartel Wars. They're going to be July 8th, 9th, and 10th, which is coming up pretty quick, I believe, like this weekend. And it's going to San Luis Obispo, and it's at uh, Gladiator Paintball Park down there. Bobby Poole owns that. And uh, I was down there last year. Terrific, terrific park. And uh, it's an airsoft thing. So it's going to be uh, pretty cool. I believe it's airsoft. Anyhow, you're going to want to get a hold of Gladiator Paintball Park and check it out. And uh, it's a good time. It's a good park. It's a good place. Everything's cool. They got all different kinds. Axe throwing, all this other stuff is there, too. So it's uh, it's pretty intense. Let me give my shout outs real quick so I can bring all these guys on because I'm sure they're biting at the bit. But I start out every week um, with just an, a longtime friend of mine, a longtime sponsor, Mr. Tim Schloss. Tim Schloss had Tiger Stripe Camouflage back in the day, and Tiger Stripe Camouflage is coming back. The original Tiger Stripe Camouflage is coming back. And he has Gateway Paintball there in St. Louis, and uh, he has a tournament coming up. You get a chance, you're going to want to check it out. Uh, Tim it has such an attention to detail, it's not even funny. Um, him and his wife, Terry, and his son, Greg, they work so hard at making paintball better. Um, I, I'm just extremely proud to have them as friends. They just do a terrific, terrific job. And then Dan and John Colby, been my uh, sponsors for 30-some uh, years. Immortal Air used to be Air America back in the day. So um, Dan and John are, are terrific. Uh, Dan has a, a field right now, a new field that he's working really hard on. And it's called uh, Panhandle Paintball up there in Florida. And if you get a chance, go check it out. Panhandle Paintball in, in Upper Florida. Dan's a great guy. He would absolutely love it. And I, I just know that uh, you'd probably love it. I've seen pictures of it. I haven't got a chance to play it yet. But it is pretty cool. And then Mr. Bud Orr. You know, I don't have to say anything about Bud Orr. I say his name and... You know, it's like there's a big light in the sky, you know, and, and everybody just knows who Bud is. It's uh, And I'm going to have Bud Orr on here tonight with these guys. Um, Bud's a terrific guy, uh, you know, War Game Products back in the day. And when I talk about people working hard for paintball, this is a guy that did it for a lot of years, period, and is still doing it. He travels with us, plays with the band. Um, one of the nicest guys you ever want to meet in your life. And he will be in St. Louis. Come out and shake this guy's hand, man. God. You know, you, I mean, this guy's a legend, period. You're going to love it. You're going to love hearing him tonight, too, along with these other guys that I have on. And then real quick, Tom K. Tom K. was my second paintball marker uh, sponsor for a lot of years. Had Air Gun Designs, uh, the Automag. Rainy and Juby Boucher had paintball news back in the day. Two times a month, you could go out to your local field and pick up a paintball newspaper. It had what just happened, what was coming up, stories, events, what was new, uh, just listing of all the fields where they were. It was like the Bible of paintball. And uh, I, I know that uh, Rainy and Juby, are, their health is not uh, the best right now. So, you know, I, my blessings and prayers always go out to them. And I mention them every week because what they did for paintball is absolutely terrific. And Mr. Randy Camilla, Randy Camilla was the editor for APG back in the day. Mr. Jerry Braun was the editor for Paintball Sport Magazine back in the day. And he has Paintball Sports Field in Newburgh, New York. And that's where the ICC is going to be. And the WCPL was just uh, held there. 
a great time. And it is the oldest woods ball field in the world, the Ponderosa. Man, it is one bad field. I, I absolutely love it. I'm trying to talk Jerry and let me play with a golf cart next time because it's not a small field, but it is pretty, pretty cool. You would absolutely love it. If you ever get a chance to go play that, go do it. You're going to love it. And then I say hi to Mr. Ross Alexander, headline SI. Ross was my very first marker sponsor for a lot of years uh, with the Bushmaster. And I still have my original Bushmaster that I played my very first uh, professional tournament with. Absolutely love it. And then Mr. Jim Lively, two tournaments back in the day you wanted to do. Jim Lively's Masters, Jerry Brown's World Cup. It was like going to a family reunion, guys. I mean, you go there and it was just everybody that you had known and met in paintball and all the great teams were at these two events. It was just beyond cool. Playing with the golf cart. I like it. Bonchick, I like you. You're okay. You know what? Hey, I'm still working on it, though. They get me a golf cart every every year, so which I absolutely love them for doing that. But I can only drive up to the field. I can't take it on the field. So, you know, people always go, hey, Freddie, I'm going to meet you at the 50. Well, my 50 is usually the 20. But anyhow, I, I won't get into that either. So, and then I got to say hi to uh, Mark Gong Jr. and Jaden Gong. Uh, Mark Gong is their father. Mark played on Concert Pursuit for a lot of years. Mark still plays with the OG Ironman. But what Mark does, along with Michael Beard, is they work their butts off with the youth uh, paintball teams. You know, just like Jennifer and Frank Montressor do, Jamie Conley. You know, these are some people that work extremely hard. They don't just talk about paintball. They go out and they do it. And I absolutely love it. And then, last but not least, I say hi to Gino from Belkin. I say hi to Gino because I see what the guy does behind the scenes. He... Uh, he does an awful lot for people behind the scenes. And uh, I, I need to mention him every week because you guys don't see what he does, but I do. It's uh, it's pretty tremendous, actually, what he does. He's a big organization. Everybody knows that. He's got a lot going on. Everybody knows that, too. But he takes time to, to help an awful lot of people, but he doesn't, uh, he doesn't blow his horn. You know, he just kind of lets it go under the radar. So I just try to tell everybody about it. And the reason I mention all of these people every week at the beginning of my show is because you go back in time when paintball was extremely hard to get off the ground. And a lot of people hated us because of the, the war mongers and all this other garbage that went down back there. All of these guys worked extremely hard to promote the sport of paintball. So I will forever mention these guys at the beginning of all my shows. And that's the reason why now, what do you say? We bring up some of these guys. I got to start with Billy here. What's going on, Billy? It's hot. It's hot there, yeah. And, you know, Tim called me a little while ago, and he said uh, he went outside for a few minutes. He goes, man, it's over 100. i got to get back in the house. Yeah, I'm going there. back so, in. <laughs> yeah, so. But, yeah, we got a good group on here tonight. Yep. A very good group. And then. Uh, Always good. Yeah, mix them in with Bud Orr. Oh, my God. You know, you couldn't ask for a better group than this tonight. Nope. So, I, what do you say we start dragging these guys out yep. here and uh, start talking some paintball? Get them on. Get going. Absolutely. I'm going to start with a friend of mine, a guy that I think um, he works really hard for paintball. And he's a kick in the butt, too. And I can pronounce his name. So that I mean, that's even better. So let's bring on, please, everybody welcome Mr. Edgar Matias. What's going on, Edgar? What's up? How you doing? <laughs> I, I did the name right, huh? <laughs> he did. No more Edgat. Everybody's yeah. calling me Edgat at all. Edgat. <laughs> Well, I was calling B. Young, B. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I took a little heat for that one, too. But anyhow, it is what it is. And let me bring up real quick, Mr. Bud Orr. How you doing hey, this evening, guys, Bud? Hey, guys, how you doing? And Bloody. let me bring up, I'm going to just say Will, because I know I'll butcher his last <laughs> name so bad. I know it. That's uh, <laughs> What's going on, Will? <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Fred? What's up, Bill? Will, what's up, Will, Mr. Earl? Pronounce your last name, please. It's Art Zen. Art Zen? That's, that's correct. Wow. I was way off base on that one. <laughs> you know what Zen means in Japanese? No, but I'm, you're going to tell me, aren't you? Wisdom. Wisdom. Oh, is that right? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I don't possess that, do I? <laughs> 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 and I'm going to bring on a, a, a newcomer tonight um, that's going to finish out our panel here. 
please everybody welcome Jen, Jeff Munoz. And I got that right, right, Jeff? Gentlemen, you did. Hey, what's going on? I feel really young. Like, I feel like the youngest guy in the room right now. I just, just kind of do. I feel like, uh, you know, there's a senior citizen discount. I'm not invited to it right now. Just saying. <laughs> well, it's great having Jeff on. We appreciate it. We're, we're having difficulty. We can't hear <laughs> That was it. Thanks. I'm good. Cheers. We're, we're, we're going. Ah, I love it. You know, the sad part is you're probably right. <laughs> you know, it, but hey, I got to tell you, um, I, I got to start off. First of all, hey, everybody that's new, all of these guys have been on here before. This is your first time on, Jeff. You got to tell us how you got started in paintball. What, what, what brought you to the sport and what was your first time out? Okay, so where did I start? It was right after the war. So I was... You know, I, I'm I'm a, I'm a retired soldier. I'd spent 20 years, 20 years, uh, over 20 years in the army. Um, it was right after um, which war? I came back from uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom One. So I came back from the uh, from the north side of Baghdad. It was about two hours uh, north of Baghdad. Came back, and then what do you do? You you come back, you buy a brand new vehicle, and then you figure life out because you can't sit there and drink, and you, you've got to get some type of adrenaline going. And it was just it was a random um, invite I got from a friend. Uh, that said, hey, Jeff, do you want to come play paintball this week? And I said, yeah, but she want to, do I want to shoot my friends in the face? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. And, uh, and that was it. That was a springboard to just going, this is really fun. I want to do this more. Um, and I spent a lot of time uh, studying paintball the times I was actually deployed overseas. I remember um, the second, my second deployment into Iraq. Uh, that's when I actually got into the tournament side, of, uh, you know, the speedball portion of stuff. And I went, it was right, right before, it, it was about a week before I took off, I went, I watched another player on a, on a tournament uh, speedball field get in a snake and shoot three people. I went, that's what I want to figure out how to do. So I spent a good 14 months studying the game of paintball, uh, the ergonomics of it, uh, the, the physical dynamic of it. And that's, that's really what I did. And I spent so much time doing that. You know, it's, what else are you going to do while you're deployed besides get shot at and miss, miss your family? So that's what I did. <laughs> yeah. What, what well, was the first marker? First marker yep. was the first one I actually bought was a Timmy A5. You know, the, the, you know, the prolific AK-47, if not the 98, you know, this yeah. is a good, good old story with a flatland barrel. You know, you, you, you think it's going to just go and like hit people, you know, you get that extra 20 feet on them. So, you know, that's, that's what I have. <laughs> uh, real, real quick, you know, I, I mentioned earlier when we were in the green room that uh, I got a friend, uh, Josh Silverman. Anyhow, he said to ask you about the ketchup incident. <laughs> Now, okay. you know, for Josh to even ask something like that, it's it's got to be something that we definitely got to hear. In turn, it's like you got to ask Josh about the baby oil thing. I'm kidding. That's not that's not really. <laughs> uh, so this goes back to this. This actually plays into why I'm playing with Team Philippines. You know, and and here's and here's the thing. This this last uh, Philadelphia event was the first time I got a suit up with Team Philippines. I've known Will and the, and the crew for for years. I've known about them. Uh, but this is my first opportunity to say, hey, guys, I'm going to suit up and play with you guys. And this is, this is how, how this all come, kind of comes to fruition about the Josh Silverman and the ketchup story. Um, paintball is a social dynamic and platform for everyone to just kind of meet people from anywhere and everywhere from around the world. Um, I met Josh Silverman, obviously, through paintball. Um, when I met Josh Silverman years ago at a World Cup, I think it was like maybe 2011, 2010 World Cup. Um, I didn't know who he was. I actually, I actually gave him my phone. Said, "Hey, can you take a picture of me with these other two people who I thought were popular?" He goes, "You don't, you don't know who I am." I went, "No, no, I don't." Um, and that's that kind of bridged the friendship of figuring out who Josh at the time. Josh was working for Pinocchio, um, and then he set me up with a, with my Pinocchio sponsorship. Now, Josh and I became a very we be, became very close. We're still close to this day. I hear from Josh if not every day, every other day. Um, so, at one point in my life, I was going through something very, very hard. Uh, I was still in the army. I was getting divorced, uh, and I was moving. I was resetting my entire life. I was stationed in Oklahoma at the time. And I was talking to Josh about it. And Josh is actually uh, the godfather of my daughter. Um, so, what had happened was, I said, Josh, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. I don't know what I'm going to do with paintball. I've got to, everything's going to restart. And I said, the most ridiculous thing is, is I'm going to move down to Texas, and I'll, I've got nothing. I've got nothing to plan for. I've got nothing to do. I said, it's so ridiculous. I have to go out and buy ketchup. Like who buys ketchup when, when that, when you, when you buy ketchup for a new house, you know, you've got a, you got a, a, a brain, a brain to start. So as I was moving, I gave Josh, my, he asked me for my forwarding address. The first package I got when I came to Texas, when I restarted my life, uh, with my wife now and my kids 
was a bottle of ketchup. It was the only thing in there. And there was a little note in there that said, you know, Jeff, no matter where you're going to be, I'm, I'm going to be there for you. I'm, I'm going to be there to support you. So that bottle of ketchup stood like it was the first thing I put in my refrigerator. And that it, it reminded me of not just a fresh new start, but to understand that there's a that paintball is a vehicle that shows you a um, a dynamic of people and a community that you, you just wouldn't be exposed to if you didn't play paintball. And I'm thankful for that stuff every single day. And that's how I get to meet guys like you. I mean, I met Bud, uh, Bud or like years ago. And Bud, you're not going to remember because everyone thinks you're a legend. I met you oh, yeah. at a Living Legend 7, you know, but I've met so many people because I've met Will through paintball. Like, and Will's in Florida. I'm in Texas. You know, that's, and that's it just builds it. It's that, it's that bridge that, that connects everyone. It's something that yeah. we all love and that we all, and that we just enjoy. Absolutely right. You know, that, that's where I'm blessed in, in this is because, you know, I know people all around the world and I have for years. And uh, I just, um, when I always say, you know, you put everything very well, too. Uh, I got to tell you, Jeff, that was terrific. And it, it just takes all of us together. You know, that that's what makes paintball bigger and better is, you know, just like you just talking about it just there. And just about the team. I hear you're a heck of a player, too. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Hey, man, I, Edgar was blowing your horn big time earlier. <laughs> and yeah, before you came on. And then the minute you came on, he was quiet. Edgar's, Edgar's, he's been drinking. He's, it's been, he's, it's all right. It's good. He's yeah, all yeah. Right. <laughs> that was before I had. So, Edgar, you, you said that yeah, you didn't get a chance to meet him before. You were anxious to, Edgar was anxious to meet you. Actually, yeah, I was. You know, I didn't really get to talk to Jeff that much because he kept playing. But yeah, man, you know, Will's tongue, man, these guys are good guys. So, I'm glad to hear that story, too, man. And it was nice meeting you, you know? And, um, it, it, and it's and it's you know it's I've, it's Will has always had the door open for me for Team Philippines for years you know and I've never had the chance to capitalize on it just because of the other things I do the other teams I'm playing for and the other organization other organizations I've been representing um, but this time I'm like look I'm not getting any younger and this is every single time you see the Filipino guys um, at any event they're just friendly people people ask me people ask me for this last like so what made you finally like suit up with Team Philippines I'm like oh. It's like because they're Filipino. I'm like, no, they're just good people, dude. Like, go, go, go have a conversation. Just have have a good time with more people. Meet good people and be with good people. Wow. Absolutely Period. right. Yeah. You know, Will, Will, you play on on uh, Team Philippines, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, now, you you've probably been on it for a lot longer than Jeff has, obviously. So, what drew no. you to that? No, no. Um, actually, Jeff and I, I always see Jeff. Well, I didn't know he was Filipino, okay? Because I always play against him. He was playing on Division Three, Division Two, and right. we were using we were using Will's paintball. We were using two, uh, Team Philippines back then. So, 2018, we started wearing Philippines, and then and then Jeff running to me, he's like, "Oh shoot, you're Filipino," you know? And I was like, yeah, uh, uh, "You know?" He's like, "Are you Filipino?" He's like, "Oh yeah, my mom's Filipino." He's like. So we took pictures together, and I told him, I said, next year, you're going to play for me. You're going to play for Team Philippines. <laughs> but it took like a couple years before this guy, Jeff, finally. Uh, no, one, no one ever believes me because I'm like, I'm over like 5'5". Five, five, so it's like, you're, you're too tall to be Filipino. <laughs> well, you can just center on the basketball team then. <laughs> right? You know, Will, you guys you guys took second in a tournament not too long ago, didn't you? Second or third? We took yeah, we took second in Sunshine for 10 men. That's and a, then yeah. uh, we took third place, um, recent one, in Philly. In Philly? Mm -hmm. Wow. And Jeff, you, did you play with him in Philly or no? Not yet? Yeah, no. The Philly was the first event I actually suited up. I got, I, I saw I saw those guys on Saturday. I ran into Will. Will was like, are you in? I'm like, yeah, I'm in, man. And then that next morning on Sunday morning, it was like, hey, guys, let's go. Let's just get on the field and start attacking. And um, we, you know, we we stuck to the plan, adjusted as we went, uh, and it was it was a great time. And everyone was just it was just a good time. No one was, you know, it's ten man. You know, you ten man's for for lack of like I always think that ten man is like the more the more spirited portion of, of paintball, especially at the NXL. Uh, a lot, more, you know, it's a little bit more relaxed relaxed yeah. environment. It's not yeah. super cutthroat. It's not like a bunch of guys playing X ball and going, oh, we gotta go. It's like yeah. all right, so um. We're gonna we're gonna play. All right, so uh, just okay, just count the bodies and uh, good luck. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they had a twenty-five people roster. Um, twenty-two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was that people on the roster. Yes. 
for and one there tournament? Was more than, in a tournament, yeah. <laughs> wow. It, it was so hard for me as a coach because I was coaching them. You know, everybody has the talents, you know, trying to find a good chemistry. And a lot of those guys, hey, don't mind me. I'm just here. I want to watch. I want to support, you know. You know, right. Edgar, first time I met first time I met Edgar. Yeah. In person. First time I met Lou. First time I met him last uh, last month. He actually played the uh, first time playing ten men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I love ten men, you know. And see that's what's that's one thing that's that's good about the internet, you know. Because Bill and I, you know, Bill's been on with me now for geez, almost a couple of years, huh, Bill? Yeah. And we were to get, I had him on my show for a year before I actually got to meet him face to face. So, you know, I, by the time I met him, I actually got to know who he was. You know, I mean, I, I felt like I'd known him forever. I never realized he was that big. I thought I was standing in a hole when I was shaking his hand. But, you know, <laughs> uh, other than that, it was pretty cool. And, you know, now with the internet, you know, just like all you guys right now, now there's going to be all kinds of people that probably have heard of you but never got to hear you speak but now they're going to hear you guys speak and see that's what sells paintball when they when they hear guys like you talking you know and and everything is positive about it it's uh that's what makes people want to get in and check it out man mm -hmm. uh, but you know bud and i bud and i uh, we go back a few years and uh <laughs> back in the day we worked pretty hard it wasn't quite as easy back then was it but no internet no, there wasn't nothing. Just uh, maybe a phone. <laughs> yeah, and a plane. <laughs> yeah, and a, yeah, exactly. I, yeah, a I mean, bullhorn, years, a bullhorn. A bullhorn. <laughs> I mean, for years, years, for years, that's we had that we travel. I was gone, shoot, probably three weeks out of every month for a few years. That's how much I was traveling for paintball. And Bud and I go back. Uh, Bud and I, we've been on stage uh, a bunch of times uh, promoting the sport. Back in the 80s, late 80s. Back in the 80s, absolutely right. And, and, you know, it wasn't so easy back then like it is now. No. 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 no it's, uh, we, we had a great time. I mean, that was um, generally Woods Fall back yeah. in the day. And then and we started coming into uh, Arena Ball or whatever you want to call it, you know. Yeah. And, and, uh, but it, it was well, great, you know. I mean, was. absolutely great. Everybody back then was just fantastic. I mean, you know, you didn't run across a jerk very often. But, uh, and what do you think of this group? Oh, I love them. Love Aren't them. they great? I, I told oh, you. Yeah. Uh, you know, Will just opened his uh, all woods, uh, woods ball field. He just opened it. Yes. You know, that's what I heard because, you know, Jennifer Montressor um, got a hold of me and said that I think last weekend was your first weekend, Will. That's correct. Uh, last Sunday, I and, uh, finally met yeah. Jennifer as well too. Jennifer and Frank. They were out. Uh, Jennifer played for yeah, uh, new she school. She did. Yep. Yeah, it was old school versus new school. Of course, you know who won. <laughs> old school. Because yeah. a lot of this, a lot of this new school, they play nothing but tournament paintball. Yeah, you know old which school. Ball yeah, I, I, you know, woods ball's coming back big time, and I, I absolutely love woods ball. Um, you know, woods ball is for actually any age or, or, and, you know, you don't have to be a, a rocket to play woods ball. You, you know, you put Team Philippines in a woods ball, I think they'd do terrific. I just, uh, and plus, I think they would love the heck out of it too, because I, I know I absolutely love woods ball big time. It just happens to be two entries left at the world you know the wcpl and wcpl Saint yeah no i mentioned that at the beginning because i was talking to tim and he goes yeah he says everything's filled up he says but we says we got two teams he says we can put two more teams in i said well i'll mention it tonight on the show because you know everybody's going to be at that one you know bud's going to be there john gregory from jt is going to be there lively right. jim lively is coming in so it's going to have ross alexander from line si so if you never got a chance to meet all these uh legends they are all going to be there, and it's going to be an absolute riot. And we're going to kick butt, aren't we, bud? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, they got a chance to shoot at us, you know. We can duck and jive, you know, and, and, and dive behind bunkers and all that stuff. We can yeah. still do that, you know. Yeah, you know what sucks is, you know, Bill plays on the band with us also, and he's usually my moving bunker because he's so big I can hide behind <laughs> that guy. 
But he's what are you talking about? He bunker. is the bunker. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> a, a he's bounced off me. I got him a shirt that looks like logs. That's pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> So, Will, what's the name of your field? Give yourself a little publicity here, buddy. Come on. It was actually Will's paintball. Still Will's paintball. So, basically, we went from six acres to 60 acres. 60? Uh, 60. 60. So, I have 30. I have Last weekend, they played at the sand dunes. The sand dunes is 30 acres. It's very unique field. It's very unique. You've got a big sand dune with lots of elevation. Oh, wow. Tell us a little bit about it. Lots of He's got some natural valleys. I mean, this place is it's it's got lake around it. It's, it's running with really cool um sand dunes. So I feel like you should be like uh you should be like a like a Baywatch well. scenario. Yeah, yeah. There's actually a couple promoters that went out there. I'm not sure what's um it's Edgar, what was it? I, I just don't remember the guy's name. He came out there and um uh, checked out the sand dunes and he was very very impressed he said he called it mini jacksonville mini grand canyon that's what he hmm. called it where's it located will what's it what's you it, know it is located in jack it is that? located in jacksonville in the Your middle field? of jacksonville yes it's only um from the old field it's only like um seven minutes away from the old field so uh, it, this field is actually old military base Oh, cool. Okay. Mm. It was, yeah, it was all military base. So when the ba when the military left and they turned it over to the city, the agreement, they have to keep that sports within 100 years. So the city got in all of me and put a paintball field up there. And that's what I'm working on right now. Very you cool. Know, the sand yeah, the sand is already completed. We did a test run on that. It was successful. We have about 100 people out there. And this is for the people that I know because we haven't, you know, it's not open for public yet because we still picking, we still 80% complete with the other field. I'm building two fields for the kids so they don't have to run around in the woods. So I've got the woods, 30 acres in the woods, 15 acres for the, um, for the, we call them the hybrid. And then you have that, you have the pipe field, the hyperball field, and the, uh, the speedball field. What would people, if people wanted to get online to find information about your field, where would they go? Yeah, they, they need to go to willspainball.com or I'm very active on Facebook, on the, on the uh, Will Spainball on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, very cool. Yeah, because, you know, we want to we wanna push your field because, you know, Jennifer got a hold of me after she was out there and she says it was, she had a great time. She said it was pretty cool. Yeah, she was actually asking me if she could do the uh, ICC. Next yeah. year, yeah, because yeah, she's, I have, uh, yeah, yeah. She's a she's a great lady. I I like her a lot. You know, I uh, and and that's another person. You know, we're talking again about the internet here. You know, that's another person I I've known for a long time, and and you know, we text back and forth uh, every other day. You know, so I stay in touch with her quite a bit, and then finally we got to meet when we were in Florida, and it was. Uh, and then, then obviously after that, we we were together again up in New York at the WCPL. But she's a terrific lady. Her and her husband Frank, yes. um, yeah, they're a, they're a kick in the butt. I absolutely love it. So yeah, she was she was very excited when she saw it. You know, the whole everybody, there's a lot of people. This is the first time seeing that sand dunes, and the whole entire time, that's all. It's all nothing but positive feedback about the sand dunes. I mean, now I remember that guy's name. It was DJ Honu Fox. Oh, John, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, DJ Fox, DJ Hanu, yeah, Hanu, Hanu. Yeah. yeah. He was the oh, first yeah. one, he was the first one at the field when I opened the gate. He was the first one in there. He had no, yeah, he lives nothing. in Florida, he lives yeah, down he lives there, in Florida. yeah. Mm -hmm. It was actually, uh, it was his 25th anniversary, and he was at the field. Check it out, <laughs> very cool. Happy anniversary, his divorce, yeah. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Jeff. Have you ever got to play woods ball? Oh, of course. I mean, that's that's what everyone starts doing. If if, if you don't fall in love with just woods ball and and, and use that as your basis, you're 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 missing out. Like you've got to play every aspect of the sport, every opportunity to step to just to shoot your friends in any in any environment. It's great. Yeah, it's terrific. You know, we just did the the tournament, the WCPL tournament in New York, 
and I, I became friends with a, a team up, out there, the New York City Police Department. These are all active uh, you know, officers. And I, I text with them all the time now. They've become very, very good friends, Tim F. and Lou. And these guys put together a team. And I got to tell you, they were, this was only what, I think this was their first tournament, right, Bill? Yeah. As a 10 man sure. team? Yeah. They practiced, but this was their first tournament. Yeah, and they're going to be playing the ICC um, out there in July. So he keeps texting me and, and showing me they're out there practicing. But that's how much it's really taking off. You know, um, I, Jeff, I hope sometime you get to meet these guys. You would absolutely love to. Love, oh, I, these guys I'm, are absolutely terrific. I only got to play two ICCs, and I love, you know, again, 10-man and playing in the woods. It's so I'll tell you when when we were it was the first ICC I played was uh, 2019 and it was Tim's last right and I remember we you know we played five man the day the day prior before everyone started playing ten man and then morning we did okay and then the morning of ten man came and we're like why are we not doing so well and then we looked at everyone else and everyone was just so much more relaxed and we're like you know what guys let's just have some little let's have a little bit more fun and focus on that. And we had a much better time. And we actually started doing much, just, just much better. Like we stopped thinking about, about being tournament players and going, you know what? This is not what this is about. Like, especially the ICC. Um, I, I loved, like, I'm so married to the idea of the ICC. Um, I was so blessed to do that uh, as I, I got, I was, you know, just, just to do the last one before Tim passed away. Yeah, well, I'm, I was so thankful. That was the first ticket I bought in 2019 to make sure I, I bought that before any NXL. I was like, I'm going to play Tim's event because I missed out in 18. I was like, it's, 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 it was just too much fun that I, I missed out on. You know, I never got a chance to meet Tim, but you know, the first time I met his um, mom and dad was on uh, Steve McGuire's show uh, up in Canada. And she told me that uh, when Tim first started paintball, I had a tape back in the day, Jeff, um, called The Fun of Paintball with Fred Stoltz. And that baby sold a million copies. And uh, she said that, was that it, Billy? There it is. That's it. It's a VHS That's guy. It. For those of you who don't know, it's a VHS. That's not yeah. A DVD, yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, We're not an why is it so thick? Yeah. And uh, it's got five of them now. And uh, anyhow, so she said that uh, they bought Tim that tape, and Tim watched that tape so much that it became worn out. They had to buy him a second tape. There you go. And, and she, yeah, she, she told me that when we were on, and I didn't even know what to say to her. I mean, I was just. Uh, so awed by that it just it, it made me feel so good because i never got a chance to meet him because i dropped out of paintball for about 18 years you know right. um i was in it for a lot of years and i just uh dropped out it and then then i came back and uh now i'm back loving it and what i'm back doing now is is making all new memories you know just like uh the show tonight this will be another right. memory for me you know the I, ho I hope that you get a chance to play a wcpl tournament uh guys to. uh with the filipino paintball team because it is so much fun and you know jeff just like you were just talking about relax that's what we do we go there to have a good time when we're on the field do we play hard absolutely you know nobody's gonna we don't want to ever go out there and be a pushover we go out and we play our butts off but if we right. lose, we lose. You know, it's that's yeah, just what it is. But you did it, but, and you did it with your friends. Like, what if yeah, you lose, and, you did it with your friends. And off the field, Jeff. Let me tell you, man. I mean, it's it's like like I say, it's like a family reunion. Am I right, bud? Do we have a good time yeah, off the field? Exactly. You got to You got to off the field for about an hour. Your stomach hurts from laughing so much. So right, right. And you're part you of that reason. We have a blast. I mean, a blast. It's, there's um, a there's a story that I have about Tim specifically, and I'm I'm so glad. Like I don't really tell the story a lot. Um, sure. We talk, and I talked about um, when I was deployed, and I would study paintball. The times I couldn't play, I would study it. Um, in two, right before I went off to Baghdad, that the second time, one of the last publications, or I kept. I kept one Facebook magazine with me and I traveled like I had it. I bought it while I was in Texas and I put it in my, I put it in my backpack and I carried it with me everywhere for the first uh, 45 days of me just kind of, kind of traveling around to get into Kuwait and then into back in, into, into Iraq. And that Facebook magazine, that was, that was the, um, where Tim was the centerfold. It was Tim's, it was, it was Tim's, you know, that was his, that was his, um, that was his publication where they, where they did the interview on him. And I remember there's a picture of me stuck in Kuwait waiting to get into Iraq. And there's a picture of me sitting on an army cot 
and I'm reading this, and I've read it. I, by the time this picture was taken to me, reading this uh, article on Tim, I had already read it eight times. You know, I'm like, this is, it was just the most amazing thing ever. And I remember at the time, uh, MySpace was a thing. So when I finally got some internet time, I had actually sent Tim a couple messages just saying, hey, you know, I really appreciate you being an idol and someone I want to, I look up to um, as, as an athlete. And, and the weird thing was there wasn't a lot of Asian athletes out there. They're just weren't, they're, they're just weren't. Um, so it was, it was kind of those things that, that you, you kind of strove for. Now you fast forward all the way and that was 2000, 2007. You fast forward all the way to 2019. It's Tim's last ICC. And I remember um, some of my buddies from Veteran Militia going, hey, I think we're going to go to the players party just to go hang out. And I'm like, OK, that sounds like you're a great idea. And I finally got to sit down with Tim. Um, I, we were sitting at the bar and I said, Tim, you know, you're not going to remember this, but I sent you a couple messages while I was in Iraq, you know, blah, blah, blah. And we kind of we kind of caught up. And the, one of the things that Tim told me and that I, I, I will remember for the rest of my life and Tim said, at the end of the night, before we left each other's uh, company, he said, you know, Jeff, this has always been a game that was meant to be enjoyed with your friends. Um, and it goes back to win or, win or lose, you did it with your friends. Um, I talk to my friends now that I continue to play for. You know, do I do I feel like I'm too old for this, being, you know, 41 this year? Um, oh, shit. <laughs> well, especially on the tournaments. Yeah, you know, you're my, too old, dude. My, yeah, my, my knees are in. I, you know, I our, felt that kick in the back. butt all the way here, Joe. <laughs> I got to tell you. Oh. <laughs> and, and you, and you ask yourself, especially on the tournament scene, why am I doing this? And the, and the answer is, I do it because I, I get to see my friends. I get to have more stories that I come back and tell my wife, or I get to tell my kids, or you know, or the, it's it, the continuation of a story that you know you go on to the next tournament and say, hey, I want to hear the, the end of the story. I want to build on top of that experience. Um, yep. That's what paintball is. Paintball is just a vehicle that lets you build your community. And, 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 and I talked to Will about this and Edgar uh, with, mm -hmm. with Team Philippines. You know, we talk about um, you don't build your net worth, but you build your network. Um, you know, yeah. and I told the first time I sat with the Team Philippines, you know, it was, you know, there's 22 of us on the roster. Uh, you know, we, we end up getting a podium and I, you know, in the, in the group chat, I'm like, hey guys, you know, here's the thing. I'm the only guy from Texas on that entire roster. I said, here's, here's, here's my promise to you. If you guys ever find yourself in Texas in trouble or just in need of anything, you come to my house, you bring your family, and I've got you all day. You know, you it's yep. you, you build more, you build more community, you build more relationship, you build more love that doesn't get spread in every single opportunity that that's out there. You know, paintball is an opportunity that we can do positive things, not just for, you know, the world, but for ourselves and each other's families. If we don't take that opportunity to learn that that's what this can do for everyone, we've 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 lost the mission 100%. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. You know, and you know, back in the day, I had constant pursuit. You know, we we played. Uh, that was my team for years, and we played pro for years. And you know, I had five guys, and that's what Edgar and I were talking about in the green room. I had five guys that um, they called themselves the Asian Persuasion, and you know, so you know, yeah, the, we rocked. And these guys rock. They played a, as a little team, but they were all constant pursuiters. Uh, Mark Gong was on it. Mark Gong is Chinese, uh, you know, and Mark right now, he works really, really hard with uh, doing the kids stuff, you know, um, the young guns, which is yeah. something I really, really support. So, you know, there was a, there was a quite a few out here on the West Coast. There was a quite a few Asians that played way back in the days. Now, and I'm talking in the late 80s, Jeff. Right. Um, yeah, you were probably what in high school. Uh, uh, no, I was, I was still in elementary school, <laughs> late eighties. Yeah, I was still in elementary school. I had to throw that out <laughs> since since I was forty one. Oh, you you've been born like what eighty three, eighty two, eighty one. That damn gun right there is almost as old as you are. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's I'm like not... a paint <laughs> as old as you. <laughs> that's got a case of paint as old as you. I'm sorry that I wear retirement better than you. Like right now, minus the facial hair, you know. But thanks genetics, I can't. It's, you know, I can't. I can't win against genetics right now. No, like Bud's, Bud's sitting there with a stoic mustache. I'm like, wow, what is that like? I don't. I don't know what that's like. I shave like. I shave like every four days. And that's with a pair of tweezers. So some people like with a real razor, just like, oh, hold on. That's there. I'm done. Uh, I'm I love it. You know, I. I hope sometime. You know, I. I would love to meet, you know, everybody face to face. Uh, but I, I would like to play alongside you guys sometime. You know, I, I'm hoping sometime there's a big game or some event 
where we can link up, not as a team, but just as a bunch of friends to go out and, and kick some butt together. I think that would be nothing short of terrific. I tell you what, though, uh, you hang out with Team Philippines, you'll eat well. I'm, I'm, I'm letting you know that right now. I, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, you hang out with Bill Bailey, you eat well, too. You know, I mean, that, that guy, is, he's not Filipino, but that guy, I mean, he cooks up a storm, man. Isn't that right, That's Bill? Good. I try. Bill's a light eater, you know. The minute it gets light, he's eating. Yeah, you know, you three guys would fit right in because you know, whenever we travel, you know, you're talking about having a good time. We always have the band. That that's our team right now, Jeff. I don't know if you know about the band, but I'm blessed to be the captain of the band. It's got Bud Orr, Dan Covey from Immortal Air. It's got Tim Schloss from Tiger Stripe Camo. We got all the, the the really, really good guys who worked their butts off over the years in paintball. We're a team. We call it the band because we put the band back together. And wherever we go and we play, we have cookouts. We, we just have an absolute riot with everybody. And see what you're talking about, you know, and that's what, what I'm hoping that uh, people are going to recognize, you know, you guys as a team, the Filipino paintball team. And jump in and give you guys a hand and then in return what you do is you make people feel good about helping you and then that just kind of spreads you know it's uh it's a it's just a really really good thing and you know i've talked to will before and i've talked to edgar edgar edgar's one of the good guys so yeah. you know you know and i know will doesn't think so but i do so, <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding, Will. Nah. Yeah, Edgar's one of the good guys, and you know, I think that um, I think that you guys, what you guys do for paintball, I think is nothing short of terrific. And you know, Bud and I and Bill, we've done this for a lot of years, and you know, I can't think of a better group of guys to pass a baton off to, you know, the young guys, the forty-one-year-olds, um, than than you guys are. I think you guys are absolutely terrific. Great, Edgar, great ambassadors for the sport right there. Three of you. I absolutely, mean, I, absolutely um, correct, bud. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. All three of you. Yeah. And Edgar, you know, are uh, you going to get a chance to play with these guys? You know, I hope so. I mean, that's the plan. You know, but when I went to Philly, you know, I, I played one game, but, you know, and it was just amazing to see the other kids. I just saw the kids, you know, the, the, the younger guys. You know, they were happy, and so we just let them, we let them keep playing, you know, because the smiles and, you know, and the teamwork they were doing. And uh, and I was just out there just recording it and documenting it, you know, and that puts a lot of smile on my face, man. Just That's when you got to watch play. Jeff play? Is that when you got exactly, to watch Jeff? Exactly, exactly. Well, was <laughs> <Jeff's> a baller, so. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he, he, oh, Jeff, he told me in the green room, seriously, before you came on, he told me, he goes, this guy can play paintball. He is tremendous. So, yeah. you know, uh, I don't know if the check's in the mail to him or what, but he was definitely <laughs> blowing your horn. <laughs> but you know, don't, uh, I know Jeff's don't, don't, don't tell anyone. It's, it's, it's a hidden secret. It's not, a, it's not, it's not, a, it's, I'm, I'm just here. I just come, I just come with the, I come with the furniture. It's like, a, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a pre furnished house. <laughs> yeah. I think Jeff, Jeff, you're also a big promoter in paintball, right? Or something like that. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been around for, we know, like, you know, uh, you, you, you talked about Dan Colby, you know, I've, I've been working with Immortal and sponsored by Moral Air since uh, 2016. I love every time I get to go to Chicago because they're always there. You know, I, I, I can't think it's, you know, I, I've got good sponsors, you know, and you know, yeah. you, you talk about the 19 year old kid who's like, oh, I'm, a, I'm sponsored by whatever company. Like, are you really like, have you, can you call the person that makes a product and say, Hey, I really enjoy you. And I really enjoy your product. I really represent not just your product, but you as a person that puts the mental capacity and the hands on the steel and the machinery, that's a, that's a lost art. You know, you're, you're not just rep representing a product, you're representing someone's lively, uh, you know, livelihood and name. And, you know, again, with like with the mortal air that's been taking care of me uh, since, since 16, thanks to Josh Silverman, you know, Josh was working for Pinocchio at the time. Um, Oh, like all every every for everywhere I get to go where I, where I get to work with sponsors. Um, I'm, I'm literally promoting not just, you know, their product, but it's really the, the livelihood of their name and, and, and the, and the yep. work they put in. So yeah, and, and I've been with, I was with uh, Dan Colby since 88. You want to say hi to Dan real quick? Oh, yeah. Like I, I, I haven't seen Dan since Chicago last year. Let's see if you'll pick up. 
We're calling Dan Colby. I hope I got the right, Danny. I sent the the last thing I sent him was a bottle of uh, Texas whiskey. So hopefully oh, it's right? still there. Yeah, he's on East Coast time, so he's probably oh, no. sleeping. No, he's he's actually up in. I think he's in Chicago right now because you're getting ready to hear. Yeah. been forwarded to an automatic nope. voice message system. Yeah, see, there you go. Four, seven, four, eight, one, nine, we'll leave my message on. Three is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Danny, it's Freddy. Uh, hey, we're just giving you a call because we got the show going on and we got some great guys on here. And uh, we were just going to say hi to you because they're a big Immortal Air fans. Um, but obviously, you know, what is it back there? It's probably 10 o'clock, so it's probably way past your bedtime. <laughs> so anyhow. The, the um, nurse, is already, she's already put him to bed. She's like, no, go ahead and hit the Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So All anyhow, right. buddy, uh, we I love like you. That, yeah. We just wanted you to say hi to everybody. If you get a chance, give me a call back. Bye. He's like, Dan's hey, you, didn't hear, Dan, you didn't hear Dan's that message, message like I left, did you, Danny? <laughs> what, what happened? Oh, you guys. <laughs> oh, man, we're just calling you. We got your show going on, and we got everybody. We're talking about Immortal Air. You know that company? Yeah, I heard of that place. Yeah, I, I, I figured you would, yeah. So we got Jeff Munoz on tonight, and uh, he was blowing your horn, and I'm actually wearing my Immortal Air shirt. So I said, you know what? I'm going to give this guy a call, and we're going to say hi to him. Oh, shit, so you got me live? Well, yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't mean to. We didn't wake you up, did we? Dan's like, I'm not even wearing pants right now. I just need to go check it out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, you're live, Danny. <laughs> I, I I got the beeper on, no problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're on here. Uh, yeah, we're on here. Uh, we got Edgar Matisse and Bud Orr and Bailey and Will. Got a uh, butcher Will's last name, but and Jeff Munoz. So we just thought we'd call you up because we were talking to Mortal Air, and uh, he's uh, yeah, he said you guys are sponsoring him uh, since two what 2016. 16, yeah. Yeah, and I've been with you since what, 1896 or something like that? <laughs> you know, Jesus. When, when you know, Jesus was playing 10 minutes with all. Outstanding individual. You know, Jeff, yeah, we do sponsor a great guy. And the rest of the crew that you, you just mentioned are great guys too. You know, but uh, yeah, we do sponsor them. And you and I go back back in, in the late, late 80s. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, so, yeah, I mean, good, good solid. You know, the good salad crew that you got tonight, Freddie, and it's just like most other nights. So, uh, well, we just wanted to call and say hi to you, Danny. Oh, I'm really glad you did. You know, and I'm glad, uh, I really appreciate it. I saw all of a sudden I saw you calling, I'm in the middle of doing shit, right? So I, I dropped it. <laughs> I missed the call, and all of a sudden I see Bill Bailey calling. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I just dropped it. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. So, you know, I was like, who do I call? Yeah, because we're so, brothers, uh, I know. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, I got to do that. So, so I called you first, and then, uh, well, I guess we're here right now, you know, so that's where we are, so. Well, we just wanted to say hi to you, buddy, and, uh, you know, uh, we're out here uh, talking to Mortal Air, and we're talking to Filipino, uh, you know, the paintball team. And they're a, they're a great group. And I got, I mean, these guys are so cool on here tonight. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah, I'm really sorry I missed the show. You know, and, and the Filipino crew guys, those, those the Filipinos are fantastic. They're, you know, I, they do a lot of airsoft. We know a lot of guys, Roger Bagdale, uh, Bag Bag, his name short. You know, anyhow, Filipino, part of Filipino airsoft. Uh, and and uh, a lot of paintball, six day round ball. But a uh, great group of guys, man. They're hard hitting you know, hard playing, you know, real fair, good guys, straight up players, you know. So, you know, if you're hanging with those guys, you know, the ones that I know, man, are pretty cool. Those. Yeah. Good, good, good it's, guys, yeah. It's three I got on tonight are terrific. Um, I've had a couple of them on before, but Jeff is the first time I've had him on. He's, uh, he's taken over the show, man. You know, he started talking. Hell, I almost went and got a sandwich. So. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Right on, Danny. Well, we just wanted to call and say hi to you, buddy. All right, you say hi to John and Mary, and we love you, man. I will too, 
Thanks, Sherry and Phil, and everybody. And Jeff, and everybody you mentioned on the, on, the, on the show. Have a good night. Thanks a lot for giving me a call, man. I really appreciate it, man. All right, man. Just respect, you, guys. You stay safe, huh? Thanks, you too. All right, appreciate brother. It, guys. Bye. Bye, man. Take care. Bye, bye. See, that's what that's about. You know, to, to all the young kids that are watching these shows and, and, and want to learn more about paintball, again, sponsorship is just relationships with more trust. That's, that's what that is. If, 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 if you want to claim that you're a sponsored player, then make sure that you have the trust of, the, of your sponsorship to reach out to them and say, hey, I just want to know that I just want to let you know I really enjoy you. And I, you know, if I ever see Dan, it's like it's Dan. If you're in Texas, he knows that it, um, he's he's more than welcome to cut out, and I'll I'll put something on my barbecue for him, and we'll smoke some meat and, and do whatever. You know, Tim not Schloss. Not talk about paintball, but just talk yeah. about each other's lives. That's, you know, Tim. You that's, know, Tim Schloss. I haven't. I, I've, I've I've only met. I've I've only seen Tim in passing. Oh really? So I've never got to meet Tim like in person. Oh, you haven't? Yeah, yeah. Tim Schloss is. Uh, he has a tiger stripe camouflage, and it's coming back out. Right. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty damn cool. But yeah, he's that's like probably the OG, like OG like Tiger Stripe thing. Like that's 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 the thing. It's like Tim Sloss and Tiger Stripe synonymous. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, let me see. He's probably watching the show right now. Oh, let's see what oh. he says. Yeah, I'm, we're gonna bug everybody tonight, man. <laughs> Just wake up. You're not doing anything right now. Just wake up. Yeah. So you know, Tim watches the show every week. Him and his wife Terry are they're terrific. And that's where the um, the WCPL, the St. Louis one. I wish you guys could be at that one. You know, hey, Tim, what's going on, buddy? I'm sitting here trying to give my sweat glands a break. Oh, uh, come on. <laughs> tough it up, tough it up. We got a great show tonight, man. And we were just talking about, we just talked to Dan Kobe, so we thought we'd give you a call and say hi. Because we got, we got Jeff Munoz on tonight. And... Uh, it's the first time he's been on, and we've got Bud Orr, Bill Bailey, Edgar Matisse, and Will. Yeah, I'm watching. Uh, where's Bud's bow tie? I, you know, Bud didn't wear a bow tie. He didn't wear his bow tie tonight, nor his red nose. I don't know what's going on, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we just wanted to call and say hi. We were talking about being able to reach sponsors, and uh, oh, well, that's you're a good one to show them how to get a sponsor. I'll tell you what, nobody treated me better than you did. Ah, shit, we're you know, still working together. I love it. I know, I know. It's uh, it's all like he was saying earlier. It's just trust to another level. And I'll tell you, you and, I mean, I've been working with you for 30-something years. Yeah, it's I mean, been it's a just, while. I've been, uh, you know, all you got to do is just do what you're supposed to do and say what you're supposed to say and amazing what happens. Absolutely correct, yep. We just wanted to call and bug you and say hi real quick. We know it's hot back there. Well, it was... Uh, Really, uh, really nice talking to you. And uh, the show looks, it's, I've been watching the show, and it's, uh, what a great bunch of guys. I'd love to play paintball with these guys. Oh, I think we'll get a chance sometime, you know. Uh, we just keep bugging them, and then eventually we'll all link up at some spot, and we'll do it. Yeah, no, I, I think they'd be a lot of fun to play with. They, uh, they got the right attitude. Absolutely. And, you know, we were talking a little bit about uh, your uh, field that the WCPL is going to be at here in October. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to, this thing's going to be the field that I always wanted to play at. And we, you and I have played all over the world and have seen a lot of things done right. Yep. And we've seen a lot of things done wrong. And I'm just, uh, I'm drawing on that to make this thing uh, a real great experience for everybody who comes. It, uh, it's going to be nice. Yeah, I can't wait. You know, and hopefully someday that all these guys that are on the screen tonight will, I mean, Bud and Bill will, but we hope that these other guys will get a chance to come and check it out but it'd be cool to play a big game or something alongside these guys maybe hey, we maybe we set up a big it. game sometime and uh we all get together and everybody come in and we just go out and we rock together oh i'm in i'm in right on brother well listen uh thank you for calling that's awful kind of you to think about me and uh just uh, i'll talk to you soon you stay safe say hi to terry i'll do it do the same with sherry and everybody bye -bye. Uh, all right brother bye-bye all right, everybody, that was Mr. Tim Schloss, uh, Tiger Stripe Camouflage. Now, see, that's what I'm talking about right there. These guys, for years, have been working on paintball to make it bigger and better, but yet they're approachable. You know what? Right. They are pro, just like Jeff was saying earlier. And uh, that that's kind of what it takes, you know. And I'm sure when you guys go, all three of you guys, because I know the other two guys, they – they go, they sign autographs and everything all the time. But I'm sure you three guys, 
when you go out there and you're spreading the word that you'll uh, be just as friendly as you can be out there and uh, help us all make paintball grow. Be approachable. Be a good teammate. Just be a good person. You know, it's no one. Yeah, no one wants to grow with someone that's not a good person. It's that's it right husband. there. You know, mm -hmm. that's, that's the ticket. And you know, how much work does it take to be nice? None, None whatsoever. <laughs> Absolutely it's not. Love it. It's if if you can get over your ego. You know, it's again. You know, as even in, at the NXL at any major tournament where you're 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 trying to. At the end of the day, it's it's real funny when you think about what we do for paintball. Um, cause you're like, all right, I've, I've really got to win this piece of metal and plastic thing together. And then you look at it and go, you know, what is this really worth? And it's just really worth the memories. Um, a memory, a, but if you, you don't need a, you don't need a piece of plastic or metal to build a really good memory with your friends. And Absolutely. that's why we do this. Right. It's, it's, it's just a game and games were, and Tim said it best. Paintball was meant to be a game to be enjoyed with your friends. Yeah. Once we stop doing, once once we lose that, it's not worth doing anymore. Yeah, then and it becomes a business. It. It's it's yeah. too much of a business then, <laughs> and I've been on both ends of that. Believe me. So, yeah. you know what, Jeff? I got to tell you, I appreciate so much you coming on tonight, and uh, you were you were a terrific guest. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody, and uh, I hope that you'll come on again sometime. I'd love to. You know, I, I you know it's. It's it's great to get invited to this thing. It's great to see like to to work with a bunch of legends. Um, you know, Will and Edgar in their own. They're they're just they're legends just because they've built communities. I, I think the number one thing that I will always preach in any platform in any dynamic, if I'm talking about you know my experiences or the the communities that we build, is that you build a community. Uh, Team Philippines right now we're 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 now in the process of building networks for Filipinos across the board, making sure that someone. Uh, doesn't feel they feel like they have a home in a community. Um, if we can do that in every type of microcosm, then the microcosms become macrocosms. Hey, I, let's say it's you know at what at what other dynamic these the there's a level, is the playing field leveled out where you have a doctor playing on one side and a street swe sweeper playing on the other. And the funny thing is, I've seen that happen, where I saw a doctor. He was literally a surgeon on one end of the field, and a guy was a street sweeper. And at the yep. end of the at the end of the match, they shook hands like, and they kind of, they kind of learned about each other's lives. And the doctor actually actually ended up helping the sweet stripper because he sourced out like, well, you have a degree in this, but you're just not using it. And he sourced that guy out, and he's now like doing better, like somewhere in I think Delaware, if if, if I'm not mistaken. See, that's what I'm talking about working together like that, though. See, that's what what builds it, and that's what makes makes people that do not play people that see something like this happen want to be involved in it you know if you see a guy come off the field and he's swearing and yelling and all this other garbage and you're on the sidelines not really knowing anything about paintball is that going to make you want to come and do that not at right. all you're going to go why do i want to deal with jerks like this but you see what you just explained people coming off having a good time shaking hands and stuff like that other people that aren't involved in paintball are going to go you know what i think i'd like to be involved in that i say that looks like a pretty cool sport it's a social sport and it's and it's just everyone everyone's job in the sport no matter who you are what division you play what format you play is to be a good ambassador to each other that's Absolutely. that's the bottom line 100 percent. all right buddy well i appreciate so much you being on tonight and I, and I am actually looking forward to having you back on again i hope you come back on again sometime would love to you guys let me know and i will be there with bells on you're the man jeff you have a good evening my friend all right you guys take care thank, you, thank you brother thank you uh, he was terrific, guys. Uh, everybody, that was uh, Jeff Munoz. And uh, well, I hope I still pronounced that right. God, that, that makes me so... I know it, Bill. I, I got to get somebody that can pronounce it, and I'll put something in my other ear. But anyhow, yeah, what a terrific guest. He was absolutely great. And, uh, you know, Edgar, you, uh, you know, I've had you and Will on before. You guys are always terrific. You know, that's why I have you guys back, um, because I, I want to make the paintball the Filipino paintball community even larger. But what I want more than that is I want people outside of the Filipino paintball community to respect what you guys are doing and um, respect your organization and help your organization. That's kind of my goal on all of that. So, Will, Thanks. you're next. I'm going to let you, uh, I want you to mention your field one more time, how people can get a hold of it. And right off okay. the start, I want to thank you so much for coming on tonight. I really appreciate it. So we're almost, I would say, 80% on the field. Where we're going to open, uh, we're shooting for mid-August. It's just so hard with six acres to 60 acres. You got you to gotta make sure 
everything's even, everything's symmetric, you know, to, to build a field, a new field. So we're shooting for August, mid-August. So hopefully it'll be done. We will open that up for public. Um, so I want to give a shout out to all my boys in the Philippines. They're actually watching right now. All the paintballers out there, they're watching right now. From Africa, from Australia, they're all watching. They're all te texting me right now, left and right. I love so, it. You know, they actually they actually watch his show in ten different countries. Yeah. So I was very happy that uh, when they, you know, the Philippines started jumping in on it, I thought that was great. So, yeah, and, and also, also not just not just in the Philippines, we got players all over U.S. You know, yeah. I'm actually going to see them next next month. We have another event. This is the first time we're going to be seeing each other. A lot of those guys, a lot of those players are retired. Now they're all back. We put fire on them, you know, Excellent. just to play. You know, Will, when you have an event like that, get a hold of me. Um, even if you don't come on, let me mention the event like I do some of these other ones for you. Um, I'm, I'm happy to publicize your field. Anything that you got going, anything that the team's got going, anything to do with the uh, uh, Filipino worldwide, you get a hold of me so I can publicize it. Yes, definitely. Thank you. Thank you, Fred, for the opportunity. I really appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. All right. You have a good evening, Will. Have a good night. All right, Thank man. you. What a great guy, Edgar. Yep. He's, I mean, both these guys, Jeff and Will, man, you couldn't have picked, you know, because I let you pick guys who you wanted on tonight. Hey, hey, and you know what? You know, I, just, I let like you I do said, that. I just met those guys, you know, Philly, you know. Oh, no, they're great. No, you did a great job. So, but if they would have sucked, I would have had to blame it on you. But they were <laughs> they were nothing short of terrific. And, uh, you know, Edgar, what you do for paintball is really good, too. You know, uh, you know, you don't get a lot of publicity like I think you should. I think you're one of the really good guys. And thank you, um, thank you. no, I, I, I mean it. I, I really, really think you are. And, you know, Will and Jeff, uh, those are two more great guys. You know, I've had Will on before. I was very very happy to meet Jeff tonight. Um, I'm very, very glad that you picked him to put on tonight because he was uh, very eloquent, uh, very positive in his speech about paintball. Oh, yeah. And you got to talk about his, what he, he does more for paintballs too because he, he's part of the veteran militia. Uh, I know he promotes paintball, like big gangs and stuff like that. So that's for another uh, show. Talk about yeah. It. Well, you know, I, I definitely want to have you guys back on because, you know, the first time we had you on, the, your group had what, Bill, 400 and some people in it? Yeah. And then the second time it had, I think, like 800 and some people. <laughs> so, it, yeah, it was, you know, over, it was over 700. I know that. Yeah, sure. something like that. It was, it's, it growing, was, it's growing little by little, but it's baby steps, you know. And, uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, you know what? You know, just you guys, you know, all the people who watched the three, you guys that were on tonight. If you don't want to hang out with these guys, something's wrong with you. You know, that's all there is to it. Um, because, you know, these guys are, are not only good for paintball, they're just good for humanity. <laughs> I mean, damn, man, you guys are great. And I don't swear much, but that was pretty cool. So, <laughs> yeah, I don't swear much on screen, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm a sailor off the screen. I, that's the way it is. So... But Edgar, I appreciate so much you coming on tonight. I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. And I'm looking forward to having you back on again. And I want to thank you one more real quick time for okay. suggesting these two guys, Will and Jeff, tonight. I think they were absolutely terrific. Well, anyway, I want to give a shout out to my boy. His birthday is uh, Ferdinand Piano. He's he's big in Filipino worldwide. He's pushing this. You know, um, he, got weapons. he got weapons. He got weapons. Is, uh, designing our jerseys, and you can also buy our jersey at Weapons and our gears. But also, um, if you want to see Team Philippines play, we got all the old school pro players playing at Sacramento uh, Golden State Open for the Xbox NXL. You know, we're gonna have Phil Lock, son of Storm, Arnold Francisco, Bob Long, Iron Man, Rocky Newt of Naughty Dogs. What date? What date is that, Edgar? What date is that? Oh, um, it's next month. Oh, uh, no, August. Some first week In August, August again, yeah. Is the NXL. That's you know, at Dave Bain's Shane place, the right? Kids. Nick Banta will be out there and Will. I think Will be out there, too. So if, Yeah, that, if that's at Dave Phil Bain's. Phil, he's going to be at Capital Edge. He's going to be the NXL. Yeah. Golden State Open. Tim Phillips is going to be out there with uh, the uh, old school OG players that played pro. Uh, you know, Quincy Boyes of uh, Dynasty. 
He's going to be out there representing Team Philippines. Well, I'm going to come up and I'm going to see you. Yeah, I'm going to come up and see you at that. I will be out there. You know, I'm going to be helping out. You know, I don't know if I'm going to be playing, but I'll be out there. Um, yeah, come come and support these guys. And I want to say absolutely. Thank you. I want to thank, I want to say thank you to Oliver Lang for sending me the jersey. You know, uh, her Missy jersey. I want to say thank you to Alex and Wayne Black and Oliver for always taking care of my guys with the headbands. You know, I mean, yep. they're I mean, they're just you know they they give a chance to give it away. They give it away to us. So I, thank you so much because that's so much positive paintball. You know. Yeah, they're good friends of mine. They're great guys. Absolutely. Exactly. Thank you. And all right, Edgar. Go ahead. Thank you so much for having us. I mean, thank you for what you do. You know, you you're helping us grow the sport and. Like I said, I recorded over my brother's wedding to watch the the the, the ESPN my show that you hosted. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! All right, Edgar, you have a good evening, buddy, and thanks again so much for being on tonight. All right, thank you. Look, looking forward to having you three on again. All right, thank you. All right, see you, Edgar. What do you think, Bud? What a group, huh? Oh, well, they're awesome. You know, all of them were. Um, yeah. It, it just, um, Jeff is um, a great spokesman. Yeah, he I mean, did great. Um, he's, he's almost as good as Bill, but, well, no, I'll, I'll take that back. <laughs> well, he's, he's a little yeah. bit more articulate than I am. Bill, Bill yeah, is articulate, yes. the eloquent, too. Yeah, there you so. go. Yeah, these guys are good. You know, and anybody listening out there, you know, these guys work extremely hard for paintball. So if you get a chance and you see them at a tournament, go up and meet them. And if you, you know, if there's something that you can help these guys with, um, I'm asking you to go ahead and give them a hand because uh, I'll, do, these, I'll do that in a heartbeat, man. Yeah, and these I guys, they are, they are. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, they're worth it. Yeah. They're now, worth are it. you guys, are you guys going to the Mech Wars deal on August 28th? That's what? Uh, it's uh, Mech Wars. Uh, Justin Ramirez sent me uh, information on that on, uh, let's see. That's down, it, down by LA, isn't it? Yeah, Paintball Gateway. Uh, yeah, SoCal Stocks, Mech Wars. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, August 28th. Yeah. I guess they're doing food and everything there. It's Yeah. Uh, I guess they really have a, a hell of a spread. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, we might go well, do that. So, But they don't, if they don't change my race dates, yeah, I'll, I'll probably make it. But uh, we, <laughs> they just changed another one today, so I don't know. Oh, what to do. Wow. So, all right, Bud. Well, I'm gonna let you say goodbye to everybody. And Bud, right. thanks so much for jumping on tonight. You know, um, uh, I know these guys. Everybody loves seeing you. That's all there is to it. You know, thank, you're a great thank guy. Thank you for thank you for inviting me, and uh, I appreciate it very much. And uh, you have a, you had a great crew on, and uh, love you and Bill bunch. And um, just um, you, you don't quit. Don't never quit uh, promoting paintball. <laughs> I mean, you, well, you we guys are awesome. So, well, we love you I'll too. I'll catch bud. up with you later, brother. And, and what you do is uh, it's terrific. And uh, I know these guys enjoyed, like everybody that watches the show, enjoys watching you come on. And you're you are welcome on my show anytime. You have an open okay. invitation. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it, brother. All right. You say hi to Kathy for me. I uh, will. You do the same. All right, brother. All right. Bye, bye. Hey, bud. Bye, bye, bye. Maybe. All right, everybody, that was Mr. Bud Orr. Yeah, I know. I, I'm working on this. What a great group tonight, huh, Billy? It was excellent. I love these guys. These guys are so damn cool. Man, oh, man, oh, man. And I want to I want to help Will with this field down there in, uh, in Florida, too. I, I think it's absolutely was, terrific. And what would you think of Jeff? Yeah, he, like Bud said, he's a spokesman. You know, great, he, great job. Yeah, he did a terrific job. Very, very, very happy I had him on. Yep. So... Now is, right, was, was Will's place? Is that in Jacksonville? Where where was that yep, at? I think that's what he said. Was it okay. in Jacksonville? So well, uh, let's see. Tory at uh, Extreme at Millstadt, Illinois. He's got a tournament this weekend. It's a seven man mech. So if anybody's watching and they can go out there and, and either play or watch, you know. Get oh yeah, Tory's Tory's not just a good guy. He's got a good field. Oh yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. And his mom. She's got flowers growing everywhere. You know, she's got know. Spots. It's, it's awesome. And, I then, love uh, it. of course, and we got smoke going on the uh, 16th and 17th up at Paintball to Go also. Yep. So, uh, Joel's play. Yeah. That's uh, uh, another great field. Yep. Oh, yeah. It absolutely is. So, all right, Billy. 
Go get something to eat. Bye, yeah, everybody. That's what I'm going to do, too. I'm starving. <laughs> All right, brother. You have a good evening. All right. See ya. All right. All right, everybody. That was Mr. William Bailey. Um, you know, I can't can't thank my guests enough for being on tonight. Uh, I, I tell everybody I'm not blessed for who I am, but who I have the privilege of getting to know. And, uh, you know, I met an, another new guy tonight, Jeff. Terrific guy. Uh, looking forward to talking with him more in the future and doing some things with him in the future here, some paintball things. So, again, I appreciate my viewers so much. I thank you so much for for all, all that you do for, for my show. And next week, uh, I'm going to have some more good guests on. I will post it again Sunday night. So, please, till next Tuesday evening on Facebook, on Flagpole Productions, please play hard, play safe. Play fair, but get out there and play paintball. All right? You guys have a good evening.